So Gunners, um, continuing the video, basically this is the same day uh, as the cams. And now we wanted to just keep that video specifically for cam installs. Uh, somewhat of torque stuff, whatever it is, right? So we've got a bunch of skunk stuff here for the suspension. We are going to go through it. We are going to put some stuff together. Maybe put the lower control arms with the... Com whatever. Let's kick ass. Keep going. Sir, thank you, man. Did you build that yourself? Yeah, right here in that little garage. <laughs> so no sick. way, yeah. really? So, uh, blah, 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 blah. how do we go about this? Bunch of skunk stuff, Trappy. What, what are you, you opening up shit. first? Go ahead. What do you got first? I think that is open already. That is our compliance arm. Okay. You can go ahead and take that out because we can actually put all of that stuff together. That's fine. Does it come with the bolts too? Okay, no. It comes with the spherical spacers inside. Oh, so just take everything out and get rid of the boxes. So we can basically put the lower control arms onto the subframe. We're also waiting for some downstar hardware. We're gonna actually get some hardware done for the lower LCA. Um, what is next? That is rear camber? Yeah, rear camber. Put that to the side, you're not doing anything on the rear. Pause. Next box up, what do you got here? Next box up, what do you got here? What do you got here? Yes! Front, lower LCAs, hard and bushing. These are great for the street. Great for the street and track. Um, check this out. Yeah, check them out, get it. I think I showed those before, but we actually get to open them up. Hardened bushings are great for the street. Some spherical stuff, like the compliance, I do suggest having it spherical. Spherical, but that's fine, nothing like a brand new arm trappy. Yeah, that's fine. Next up, I, this is the guy I've been waiting for. Yeah. This is the guy I've been waiting for because I was dying to see how clean it is, brand new. Uh, I haven't seen a pair of these. Ooh, baby, come on. Oh my God, look at that trappy. Stop playing, man. Stop playing with the skunk two compliance arm. Tambien cabron. Yo, we skunk this car out, bro. Put some skunk emojis right now. <laughs> Put some skunk emojis in the comment, man. Let me see a skunk. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Chacho, bro. Tu pasate, mano. Tu pasate. It's Liddy. Glass box, what do you got? Glass box, Glass box. what do you got? Yeah. I think this is going to get powder coated. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Hardened bush and rears. Perfect, beautiful. I got them in polished trappy so that it's easier for it to take oh, the yeah, powder yeah. coat. So that's the reason I ordered them in, in, um, in polished. But we've got the upgraded uh, hardened bushings in there. And that is going to look crazy in that yeah. frozen purple. Can you see right it, there. Gunners? Can you see mm. it? I think they see it. I think oh, they see fine. it. This guy is on, and bear with me. We are going to show you how to put it together. So, EG subframe, right? Huge question on my channel. EG subframe. Will the lower control arms from an EK fit? Will the e Do you have to use EG ones? Guys, lower LCAs and compliance arms are all the same. EG, EK, DC2. Those three chassis share the same lower control arm, compliance arm, and compliance bushing. Now, when you're using an EG subframe on an EK chassis, you must use the EG subframe bolts. I did my best and cleaned them in the machine. That is finished. Now, let me and Trappy show you how we put this whole setup together. Ready when you are, Trap. LCA onto the compliance arm comes with the bolts provided. Uh, that guy right there. They supply the hardware. Thank you, Skunk 2. Now, again, not to sell you anything. If you need anything from Skunk, you got to get it through online tsm.com. If you like this combination that we went with right here, you'll be able to save money with me. So, SK20 online tsm.com. A little spacers for the spherical. Spacers for the spherical. Go in. Good job. Slide that puppy into there. Get your washer, then your bolt, then your nut, I mean. Tag to the top of the car. Tag goes on top of the car. Okay. Good symbol. Good sign there. 
What size is that? 22? Yeah, let's tighten it though first. Let's tighten the front one. Okay. So you're going to have, what, twin 17s? Yes, so twin 17s on the lower LCA. I'm be here or good even. Yeah, good even. Compliance arm, point it up, I'll hold it for you here. 22. Let's see how functional it is. Oh, it's tight. It's, it's tight. Still oh, yeah. New. yeah, it's still new. We've got to get worn in. Nice. Good job. All right, so now let's get this on to the chassis. Hey, what you doing here? What you doing here? It's not your turn yet. What you doing here? Shorty goes on the one side. There. Hold on, because the bush needs to tighten. Started. Yeah, just make sure you hand start them. Do not use the gun yet. Don't mind this bolt that we're using right now. Probably you need a rubber mallet. Yeah. I'll get it for you. Don't mind these bolts that we're using right now because we're just using this to hold it up for now. So we're going to get some hardware for that. Look at Kobe coming together, Traffy. Look at Kobe. Oh, yeah, Kobe. Oh, boy. Leave that guy there because we're going to probably end up swapping all this into some downstar. So, 19s, make sure again, hand tight, thread it in by hand, make sure it's going in by hand, and then you can get your gun. Gunners. Oh man, that might be the thumbnail right there, Trappy. Yeah, that's it. Man, I had to share that again with you, man. So we went skunk, 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 skunk. Everything is going skunk. We got another surprise too, but I think we'll continue that in the morning because something very, very nice came in. Another key component our front. What is it? Pro Series Scamber Kit. Now we, we can install that crappy or this Downstar stuff and let's see how that looks on the engine bay. Moment of truth, crappy. More purple. Happy More purple. Big shout out, Frank. Man. Big shout out, Frank. He did his thing with this purple, man. It's a good combo right here. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little drip piece right there. So, Kobe, he's, he's helping us out. So let me make your make your life easier, boys. So installing the front Pro Series camber kit. It has the hardened bushings in it already. So we're just gonna not even tighten it all the way. Just gonna snug them to where they can hold up. We did this side already. So you see how we got our boy looking so far. Got the red, got the suspension going, we got our rack, we got fresh tie rods. But that purple right there, man, it's looking money, guys. Yo, Trap, can you believe we're gonna give this car away? Seriously, bro. I know we on camera and everything, but look what we doing, bro. I didn't picture it this crazy when we were talking yeah, about it. Yeah, I just thought it'd be like, you know, a yellow shell and then we just go on, but. We wild out. Nah, we wild out. Oh, hold up, Trappy. Go get oh, the wild. reservoir. Oh, yeah, we gotta put that on. Get the yeah, reservoir. That's OEM time. Look how beautiful that looks. Yeah. Everything. Fresh Look. ass clamp. We even got the clamp from Honda, dude. We even got the clamp from Honda. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Two fresh zinced 10 mils. 
Come on, man. We're doing a cleanup. Come on, man. Come on, man. I got another surprise for you after this too. Nah. Yeah, you don't even you don't even know it. No. Nah. Yeah, you don't even Stop know it. You don't even know what it. You, got? you don't even know it. Let's go with that mask though, bro. Yo, let's go with that mask, though. We bro. are here trying to start uh, flatten the curve. Oh, all right, flatten the, <laughs> flat the curve. <laughs> oh man, so placement. Yeah, I put the hose in first pose. Put the hose in first pose. So this the... low miles on this hot water. Mm -hmm. right yeah. Oh. Damn. I don't even want to see up top yet. No, 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 no. Chill, I don't chill, even want to see up top yet. I don't even want to see up top yet, King. Oh my god. Yo, this may sound like hyped up, right? But <laughs> nah, ain't nothing like, like OEM, bro. Nah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like OEM, man. Let me, let me play around over here and show you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be over here. I'm just horsing around, just showing the engine bay here. And then we're gonna have to see how that looks, man. Yeah, you almost done? You almost it's done? Come on, because I'm about to I'm about, oh come on, man. Come on, man. Oh what are we doing here? Come on, man. Are you ready or what, bro? Check me out. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on, man. No, hold on, man. That is money, honey. Oh, I can't wait to get that clutch line, too. Fire. It's that OEM. Ooh, first time I ever opened that thing, too, cabrón. Oh, my God. Look at the seal on it, cabrón. Yo, God, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. Yeah, I got a surprise for you. Be right back. Ready, Trappy? Nah, let me see. Ready? Go to the table, bro. Go to the table, bro. Ready? Oh, yeah. Trap. The right way. The right way. And they labeled in the back, too. They're off by like little centimeters, bro. So, rear, front. We got our, uh, here goes the part number for the front. Here goes the part number for the rear. No, that's fine. Oh, my God. Mm. EK9. Oh, See, thick. now that accent of red, it goes, you know, with the suspension that we were talking about, you know? No. It's starting to come together, Tail. It's starting to come together. Coming together, guys. It is coming together, guys. Next day here, Gunners. We're on to the next day. Freddie got fingered? Freddie got fingered? Nah, Freddie ain't get fingered. <laughs> What's, hey. What's up, Juice? I heard there's some drip here. You know what I'm saying? Drip. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, wowee. Oh, wowee. Oh, wowee. Oh, wowee. Back at the body shop, boys. And that box right there is what we've been waiting for. They are kicking butt here. Business has picked up. And, um, yeah. I got some of my stuff still here. I told them to hold off because I won't be done for a little bit. So that's the update on the body parts. You know? We got some stuff here. We got some stuff here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You see it? You see it? You see it? <laughs> All right, so we got our box loaded up. We'll get to the shop, horse around, work as much as we can, and then can't wait. Back at the garage, Gunners, and I got some stuff in the mail I wanted to share with you real quick. So I ordered on Amazon just some 12 millimeter nuts. Uh, I ran out of there on all the stuff that I have organized here. Now, I always tell you guys, this thing was like 15, 20 bucks, man. It's like, if you're wondering why we're so efficient when we're building cars, Jesus Christ, this thing's all over my hoodie. Um, it's because everything is here. Like everything that we need is in sections. You know what I mean? So I was missing 12 millimeter nuts and I got to order those. Uh, remember I ran out of pressure plate bolts. So my ultimatum is this. This is the size for pressure plate bolts. M8, 1.25 by 30 mil. So I'll put a washer on these and now I'll have these ready whenever I need to uh, put a clutch on. So I ordered two of those to have. Um, Huge shout out to Gunner, um, uh, Real J nine seven eight. He sent me the the OEM Honda pedal pads. So that is the part number. If you guys are wanting the crispy and freshen yours up, I also got 
the holder for the um, hood prop. This is the part number if anyone's interested in getting one to freshen up their uh, freshen up their engine bay. So I waited for this for about two weeks. It took a while. A lot of shit. Oh, my man, my man Jay, my man Jay uh, 978 held it down too. Two bottles of uh, hand sanitizer. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, man. He didn't even want no money for that, bro. I was trying to pay him, but he didn't want none. So we got those three pedals, right? And then this one is in great shape. Look at that. So we're going to end up, I know, attention to detail. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm being anal here, pause, whatever. All right, so clutch, brake, gas is all going to be crispy inside the interior. And uh, that's basically it. So I got a satin uh, black uh, 24 cover. It is what it is. I have to deal with it. I want to close up this motor. So I am going to start prepping that. And, man, is this clip long? Pause. Yeah, this clip was pretty long, man. What the hell? Real quick story, guys. Um, so I had a gunner DM me, and he was like, hey, what are you doing with that dolly cart? I'll buy it off of you. And I said, man, I ain't using it for a while, bro. I don't want no money for it. Um, so he came out all the way from Staten Island. He's going to make the U-turn, put the truck right there, and we're just going to give it to that gunner. Hopefully, he can put it into good use. So my boy Jose, from where? Staten Island, right? Staten Island, yes, yes, sir. He came through. Uh, we're going to... Let you take that dolly, man. What, what, kind, what kind of car are you building? Uh, same thing, uh, 2000 EK. Nice. K, B, what? Okay. Uh, nice, Almost nice. Okay. You get to check out Kobe in oh, person. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, I'll show you around on the car yeah, real definitely. quick, but um, we'll load that sucker up for you. And, appreciate uh, it. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Just be great. Definitely appreciate it. Anybody you want to show some love to, you're going to be on today's vlog. <laughs> All my people out there, uh, um, um, Eric, come on, man. Don't get nervous, <laughs> man. Come on, Eric, man. Jason. Uh, yeah. My boy Jonathan, uh, J.O., uh, a few people out there. Good. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Let me show you Kobe and then yeah, get this guy in your truck. Give this to my boy. He's going to actually head out. Uh, he's actually doing the same kind of build as, as Kobe. Thank you, sir. So he's doing a 2,000. I would probably put, don't put it on the wheels. Yeah. Lay it flat. He's actually doing the same kind of build as Kobe. And he's going to head over to Sasong and see if he can... Uh, Talk to him about the body work. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, you don't even got to strap it. Just yeah. leave it right there. That's Hell great. yeah. Close the door and your money. Enjoy it, man. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. it. it. Yeah. I'll give you the address to Sasong. Right. Go speak to my boy Zeus. Talk to him about the same. Right now, I'm just siliconing the side cover. Cleaned it up really good. Make sure there was no... Uh, no kind of dirt or anything inside because remember this is these are all oil galleys for the side of the motor so I got this gasket new just laid a little bit of Honda bond on it Honda bond is the best silicone you could use man always keep this in the garage that's why it's so expensive because it's really good and it's really strong so you never want to build a, a especially a k-series motor and then end up having a leak in the side cover because then you're in a world of trouble. You're in a world of trouble. Because to fix an oil leak inside a car on a side cover is a nightmare. So I've got my silicone everywhere I need it to be. I've got my sensor in. I've got my, um, my seal in. And I am ready to go. I am going to install the, uh, the vein engine stand titanium hardware. This stuff is great. It doesn't rust up. It's really, really light. And I'll talk to you more about it as I install it. So the vein stuff here, um, it's really light. It's rust resistant. It won't rust up on you. If I could actually rebuild the AK-47 again from scratch, I would have taken every single bolt and made it titanium. You save a bunch of weight. And when it comes to racing, every ounce counts. If you know, you know. So you'll see there's two that are distinguishedly different. So one's going to have like a little spacer here, a guide for the cover, and then ones are straight up. So they're eight mils. I'm going to start with the bottom ones first. We got to, we got to rip that off. We've got to rip that one off, Gunners. Let's get a 19 here. You cannot put the side cover on with the bolt in. So you have to zap this sucker up. Put that guy there. Put 
you here still with me not boring you okay so now I'm going to start and remember also before we put this guy on this is crucial man the crank trigger is crucial it says outside make sure you put this outside people rush and forget to put this in and then they then they're screwed because then you have crank crank sensor issues so we'll put this guy somewhere in this vicinity i'll start the bottom ones first let's find it there it is grab my eight mil Make sure that that pilot goes in first. There it is. Move on to here. Get this guy in there. Reach out to Vein Stands, man. They've been working with us for about two years. See if they'll hook you up with the titanium stuff. It is expensive, but you always get what you pay for. Remember that, Gunners. Once these two are in, that's it. The rest are the the rest are lined up. So, wow, starting to come together. So. I'll just take two here, put them on the top. This motor is gonna this motor is gonna take a huge turn today, man. Uh, also, been thinking about the color of the valve cover. I know I was um, I know I was set on purple, but I might switch that. I might switch the valve cover color. I don't know if you guys want to see me do this part, so I'm just gonna basically run this in here and if you're wondering what the torque spec is hand tight bro don't be a hero just hand tighten them so i'm gonna close this guy up show you how the titanium oh my god it already looks good it it already looks good man wow awesome i'll be back so gunners we are putting an ati super dampener on now why are we using an ati super dampener and why is this guy just staring at me <laughs> yeah um basically the dampener reduces crank noise and inside the factory one you'll see that there's some rubber in there that actually tries to absorb some of the crank noise and after a while all that shit wears out so with the ati dampener inside is actual balancers so we are installing this on kobe because this is going to be a high revving engine now, do I suggest this for every swap? No. But if you are going to put like a head, a head package on a car, if you are going to invest money into your block, if you are going to fully build your motor, then you should be using a harmonic balancer. Now, in some cases, I've never used it on certain builds, but in other cases, I would. Because especially if it's going to be a high revving motor. So, ATI dampener. Now, very expensive piece but we are offering a coupon code through onlinetsm.com and you can pick one of these guys up for 10% off using the code AK47. Now, you're also going to get free shipping. With the free shipping, I'm paying for your shipping. So, Tri-State is going to come up with a whole uh, invoice on shipping to you gunners that use the code. It's AK47, online TSM. You apply the code for your dampener. I got you on the shipping. They'll bill me for it. So, our keyway goes in like yonder. Okay. Line this guy up here. Probably going to have to use a rubber mallet. Now let's install this sucker. Put our keyway in. Push it as much as we can until it stops. It might need a little bit of a rubber mallet. Hey, you all right over there, champ? Yeah. All right. <laughs> You sound crazy. Forty, give me a rubber mallet. The rubber hammer. The rubber hammer. That one? The rubber hammer. No, no. the other one, the black one. No, too big. All right, give me the orange one. The orange one. Good. Okay. Let's get that guy. Let's just get it going, and then we'll use the bolt. These are clearanced pretty tight, guys, so you'll probably end up doing the same stuff as me. So this is not a, 
should be an easier install, but it's clearance to be super, super tight. Try to use the bolt now to just drive it in nice and even. Forty, give me a 19 with the ratchet. With the ratchet, so I'll uh, I'll press down on this with a ratchet and a 19, and uh, we'll be we'll be almost done. So we'll go hand tight here just to get it in even, and it's accepting it. And then we could use the ratchet. We could use the gun. To fully tighten it. So now it's going in even. Okay, dame el pitola, por favor. Oh, this motor wants to spin, 40. This motor wants to spin. I'll take that. Crank this sucker down. Fully tight. Now we'll spin it, make sure it goes freely. Beautiful. Everything is good. So ATI dampener, man, this motor's spinning real good. Motor spin. The motor's gonna have some power, boss. So yeah, um, I'm going to retorque and check all this, make sure it's good, because it's required for you to torque the nine bolts. And um, yeah, installed Loctite. Must be installed, Loctited, and torqued correctly. So I'm gonna check and make sure that these are torqued correctly. Luckily for me, I just checked two of them and they're torqued. So 16 foot pounds, torque 40, money. We're just gonna double check everything. Good. 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 Two more, one and two. So 16 foot pounds on a torque 40. You like 40, right? You like that number 40? 40, all right. Uh, ATI dampener, man. Again, online TSM, use the coupon code AK47. I am paying for the shipping for you gunners and they're gonna take 10% off. I love you guys, I hope you appreciate it. Keep going. Nice, 40. Look at that. Yeah. Fresh pedal. Yeah. So brake is on. We'll do the clutch one. So I am going to go, obviously, I learned bottom. <laughs> and not for nothing. Yeah, no, I'm going to change it. I'll change the gas pedal one, too. This one's pretty clean. It's just dirty. Yeah, let's try top bottom. Nah. I'm going with bottom first, trap. I'm going with bottom first. I just called you trap, 40. This trap takes forever to get here. It takes like three hour showers. Or is it, is it the same? Jesus. This thing's hurting my hand. Okay, we're working on something here. We're working on something here, 40. Actually, it's easy, easy, it's heavy. It's heavy duty. Yeah, the people say it's heavy. Oh, God. I should have, like, greased it or something. It's almost there. It's almost there, 40. It's almost there. It's not quite on yet. Take it easy, easy. Just a little bit on the corner. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. Almost mm -hmm. there. Okay, now it's on. So the pedal's on. It actually slides down. So you have to unclip from the top and then come down a little bit. But all three pedals are brand new. Well, the pedal pads, at least. How's that look from there, Trappy? Trappy's here, he's behind the camera. That's fire, right? Clean, right? Very clean. Cut! More drip, Trappy. More drip. More drip. Part number. I'll show the part number. Yeah, part number drip. 
Oh, yeah, watch that razor, boss. We got a magnet there. Yeah. I got a surprise in the truck, too. Yeah. Again, pause. Uh, Again, perfect. this one real big. Hold on, buddy. Oh. Hey, hey, oh, God. my Hop. God. <laughs> Every time, 40. Oh, man, it's the simple things in life, guys. Yo, you gotta. Why are you always breathing so heavy, bro? Why are you always breathing, man? <laughs> Yo, this dude. Alright, you ready for the surprise? Let's go, Trap. Let's go. I'm anxious. Okay, Trap, you ready for this? You're going to do the honors? Oh, I'm You're going to do the honors? Oh, oh man. Oh. They are here. Ah, crap. Yeah, wait till you see the logo, man. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Open up that one right there, boys. Watch it, Poppy. Watch it, Poppy. Big shout out to Status, man. Thank you to, um, thank you to Gina. Thank you to Justin. They really took oh. care of us with this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice January. So yeah, status, ring seat. This is the Pro Circuit. Ring GTX. Uh, yeah, the yeah the Ring uh, GTX. So we did suede in the middle. We did tweed on the sides, basically where they hug your ribs. We did the yellow keep stitching. We did the status in yellow. We did the yellow keep stitching. You hear me? I'm afraid this guy's gonna cut me off. I'm trying to hurry up before he cuts me off. And then we went tweed, and then suede here, and then the black in the back. This is perfect, Chuck, because you know how it always wears out. Yeah, no, that's why I didn't want to put suede here. So when if you know whoever the owner is, it ain't gonna wear out right here on them. You know what I mean? But I don't know what seat belts to go with. We probably gotta have to find some yellow ones. But I don't really like some of the yellow ones. I think Status makes them. Maybe. I've seen them, but they don't make them in yellow. Yeah, we got that, and then we got the um. The brackets. So, let me know what you guys think, Gunners. How you like the seats? Grab them literally like that with the plastic on the bottom, and then just sit them uh, in the driver's side. For the vision. For the vision. Yeah, just for the vision, for the motivation. So bring the car down, slap these guys in there, and then see how it looks. Some of it looks. Go check it out. Go check it out. Alright, you hold it. Yeah, 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 Alright, Gunners, how's it look from right there? Let me see behind the camera. Let me see how it looks. Oh, oh nah, that crazy. looks crazy, Trap. Nah, it looks money. Hold on. Wow. That's a good look right there. Oh, that's fire. Nah, that goes perfect with the theme, and then now the rims will hit. Oh. So we've got to get some, uh, we've got to get some rails too, Trappy. Yeah. We gotta get some Plastic. slider, yeah, Plastic slider on. rails. But with the black carpet under it, nice and clean. Oh, See how it looks from the rear, pause. Ah, sick. Sick, no, it's sick. Sick, all right, let me help you get it out, pause. We laid some bubble behind it, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, Trappy. Yeah. That's gonna look sick. Wow. Get some likes, Gunners. Get some likes. So to get rid of this headache, this one is this one is much thicker, yeah, and we have is. to use those bolts. We'll 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 keep that around no, we for that. another future build. But I had a K24 uh, K tuned one, and that looks sweet. So now I won't have to ask them to replace the bolts. These are gonna fit money. We'll button these up and move on. Well, Gunners, we are done for today. We are done with this vlog. So. We've got a bunch of cleaning and organizing and bringing some stuff downstairs. We got a bunch of that stuff to do, but boring. So I left you with some good gems. We left you with a coupon code for the ATI stuff, um, online tsm.com. Use AK47 in the coupon section, and I will pay the shipping for all of you. Um, remember, we're about we're about eight days away from the Killer Bee giveaway. So it's very simple. You go on keepgunning.com. You have 47 hours to purchase, May 15th, 6 p.m., well, May 15th going into midnight. Uh, we'll make more detailed videos about it, but you can win that motor, you get a t-shirt, you get a cool sticker, and you get a ticket, and if your name gets drawn up, we'll ship you the motor for absolutely free. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much, man.
Give me some guns. Give me some bees. Give me some Kobe's.